Happy New Year to everyone. I hope it's off to a great start. Mine's is. I'm full of cum and I'm gaining muscle. Let's start the show. Welcome to another episode of the Tutson Interruption. My name is Trey Tutson. Thank all of you for tuning in and listening. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Um, man, the new year, we are off. I'm off to a great start. That's right. Ain't been hitting nothing. Ain't been smashing nothing. Been working out. Ain't doing eight miles. I'm going to be straight up with you. I ain't been able to hit them eight miles, boy. My shins is... Boy, my shins didn't caught up with me, right? My shins is not letting me do eight miles. I'm able to, I'm doing about six. Around that five mile mark, I'm like, ooh, I ain't gonna make it. I ain't gonna make it. But somehow I power through. Um, this will be out by then. I got a show January 8th at 7 p.m. at Rutgers Pub. It's called QA with Trey. Uh, want everybody come out? It starts at 7 p.m. If you can make that show, please come out and attend. I'm trying to sell my shows out as much as I can. Um, there'll be another touch and interruption coming up soon. And you know, January 20th and the 21st, I'll be recording my first ever comedy album at Cap City Comedy Club in Austin, Texas. Uh, I believe the ticket links are on. At Trey, at, at Trey Tuzzin. Trey Tuzzin .com, Um, They're available at the Cap City Comedy Club website. So, yeah, that's why I'm going to be doing shows at. Um, I'm, I'm just going to get into I'm frustrated. All right. I'm, I'm upset. All right. I'm pissed off at a lot of things. I'm irritated right now. Um, My apartments where I live at. This might be some hood ass apartments. Like, you know, if you Google them, they look they all right. They look decent. You know what I mean? And you know what? And I should know, right? This is just tips for anybody out there young that's looking to get your first apartment. I right? here's some signs that where you are probably looking to live at is not a good spot. Okay. Uh, if you go and you looking, you checking out the place and you just see a bunch of pictures of the lobby, don't move in the motherfuckers. Whatever they charging is an overcharge. If you ain't seeing no pictures of the units, don't move. I moved into my place. I didn't, I didn't even look at it. I abruptly had to just find a place and shit like that. So I didn't even look at it. I was just like, here go the money. I can come in that motherfucker. They were like, yeah, you can come in this motherfucker. I was like, all right, cool. I'm coming in that motherfucker. Then. So I didn't even look at it. And I was I wasn't really I didn't really care. As long as I had enough space for most of my shit to fit in, I was cool. I didn't give a damn. I make the best out of whatever because I had my mind in a different place. You know what I mean? Well, your mind is in that hustle. You don't give a damn about how the place look. You like, I'm going to hustle my way out this bitch. Well, but I uh, I come here. My place, I don't know. I don't know about my apartment. It's just shit that's happening. First of all, I got a neighbor upstairs that I don't know where the fuck this motherfucker learned to walk at. But it was somewhere where it wasn't shit below him. Whatever he learned to walk at, it was ne it wasn't shit below him. This motherfucker is just marching and stomping. He don't walk. He don't walk. Normal people get up and walk to the kitchen. Y'all might, if you, if I wish the sound of this microphone was good enough where you could just pick up what the fuck I just heard as I'm talking about. 
this heavy foot bastard. This some bitch, he don't walk. He go get something to drink. You hear everything, right? And then he have moments where I don't know what the fuck he start doing. I don't know if he start running laps up there. I don't know if he starts doing goddamn basketball suicides. If he just starts doing wind sprints out of nowhere. But there's a part in the day where this son bitch just, just get to running. You just hear stomping and marching and galloping through all throughout that bitch. And it pisses me off because I know his unit ain't big enough for the activities he's doing up there. Then this motherfucker have moments where he'll play some music and sing the shit real loud. So now I'm like, and then if it get good to him, he's singing and running and skipping and Come on, dog. Like, what the fuck? Like, I just want to know. Like, do I go to the office and am I supposed to complain about that? Am I supposed to be like, yo, I got a, a neighbor, or I got a neighbor that's noisy. He just keeps up with whatever's happening. Or do I just have to accept, like, bro, I'm you downstairs. That's what happens when you live downstairs. The person upstairs is just way too loud. Cause when me and she, I, like I, I used to apologize all the time to my downstairs neighbors. Cause Shay is Shay's a heavy walker. You know what I'm saying? She's I mean this she just be, but I know how she she got a heavy walk. She grew up in a house that has shitty floors. She grew up in a house with shitty floors. And you had to you had to show determination when you walk. You had to move with urgency in that house, cause you'd have to you had to slip the rats and shit. Like you know what I'm saying. So she walked hard to scare off rodents. So a lot of time, you know what I'm saying. She was that's why she was a hard walker. It was an explanation to why she walked hard. Which that might be this man's case. I don't know his situation. He might have grew up in a very dirty place. And the reason he walk hard is because he got to let the rats and roaches and varmints know that he's going to the kitchen. And if you walk lightly, you might mess around and see a rat eating your sandwich. You like, damn, I didn't walk hard enough. I could have scared him off had I just put a little bit more oomph in my steps. So I used to, when I when we had our play, we'd be upstairs, I would apologize. Hey, man, listen, sorry about the noise. I know. My old lady, hey, you know what I mean? She's a rat disturber. You know what I'm saying? I would just let them know, like, yeah, she used to run rats off in the house, so it's, she kind of conditioned to walk that hard. My apologies from from my house to your house, right? And they'd be like, oh, yeah, they say the same thing every time. Oh, yeah, brother, it's fine. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, man, ain't no trouble, you know what I mean? You just up there walking, you got to do what you got to do, you know what I mean? Most people didn't care. Ah, it's fine, bro. It's all good, bro. Hey, man, you got to walk. <laughs> Most people didn't care. This bitch is the rudest. Be crazy, just cuss out of nowhere. He'll just be yelling, cussing loud out of nowhere. Fuck, 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 fuck. Like, I'll just hear that shit randomly out of nowhere sometimes. I'm trying to, you know, I'm a good Christian man. I'm trying to enjoy my Joel Osteen, my T.D. Jakes. You know what I'm saying? I'm watching TV and I'm praying when they praying. In the middle of them praying, I got to hear him yell out, fuck, 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 fuck. You're disturbing our prayer meeting right now, brother. I don't appreciate none of this profanity. So, I got that going on. Now, on top of it, right? Couple things, right? It's one main thing. I got a fucking hole in my roof. Okay. I was out doing some shows. Somebody was at the house. I get a text. Hey, just water all over your apartment. I'm like, mop it up. Like, what are you saying? Like, no, it's like, 
It's like bad. It looks like a pipe busted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh my God. Okay. Well, okay, fine. Call the emergency maintenance, right? Call emergency maintenance, which it's it's weird. I'm not gonna lie. I I, I don't like. I, here's the, I'm gonna be honest. Emergency maintenance. Okay. I feel like emergency maintenance should be another crew, right? I don't feel like regular maintenance should also be emergency maintenance. I just, I don't feel like that, okay? You've been landscaping, you've been doing stuff all day, landscaping, cleaning, fixing, whatever, okay? Had you tighten up on it, a person wouldn't have to call you for the emergency. And that's how I feel. I'm like, hey, can you come through? Like, yeah, we can cut. No, not y'all, somebody else. Because you, you the son bitch probably broke this. You probably the reason that I'm in an emergency situation right now. I want a new crew for emergencies only. So I call the emergency number, right? Hey, mer hey, look here, emergency maintenance. How you doing? Look here. I'm in an apartment, yada, yada, yada. Got a pipe, but water everywhere, blah, 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 blah. They come through, right? Come in. They cut a hole in the roof. Hey, listen, we're going to come back Monday. We got to get with the contractor. We're going to come Monday. This isn't our expertise. This isn't what we do, which is why I'm saying I want the emergency people because I feel like the emergency person, the emergency crew, that's the specialist. They know how to do everything. You pay them a little extra. You pay them per job. Per emergency is when you pay them. They're going to come through, get it, boom. And you let those other guys bullshit throughout the week for whatever you're paying them. So he's like, we got to come back because we got to call somebody that's an actual maintenance. That's pretty much what they told me. We got to call somebody that's like an actual handyman. That's going to actually fix this shit. Bro, that was four weeks ago. I'm sitting here with a fucking hole in my roof. My apartment smells like mildew. Right? I'm bringing chicks over. They think it's my dirty clothes. I'm like, I don't even, like, what are you saying right now? They walk in and like, what's that smell? They don't even ask what's the smell. Some some chick, in which I ain't going to lie, it's been letting me know uh, how decent of women these are. The awareness of these women. Because I got a gigantic hole in my roof. When you walk in, if you don't see the hole or you don't mention it or you don't nothing like that, that's letting me know off bad. All right, well, this is a smash and dash. Because this is the chick that lets me get stabbed. While we out together. I didn't know. I thought he knew you. Yeah, he knew I was his next victim. But a chick that's like walk in and be like, uh-uh, oh, what the hell? What's going on here? That's somebody that'll be like, hey, somebody behind you. Appreciate that, baby. Now, I'm going to still get stabbed. But at least she let me know that the stabbing was on the way. And I can embrace it better. But I got this hole in my roof, dude, and it's this smells coming out, right? Fucking critters I've never seen before. I'm just killing shit every once in a while. It's embarrassing. I can't have anybody over. This guy upstairs, I can. I mean, boy, you thought I could hear him step before. He he up there, sounding like he trying to pledge for fraternity. So he run his bath water. I can hear the bath water running real loud to the point. Well, I got to where he goes up to take his shower or run his bath. I got to turn up the volume on my TV just so I don't hear him. So I tell the office, I've been calm. I'm not a person that go off. On the people at the office. I know there's some people out there. And I want to say I salute y'all. Y'all are brave people. 
is because of y'all, because of you people that go off and go crazy and snap on people, y'all the reason that a person like me can go in pleasantly and get stuff done. Because they be so happy to see somebody that's just got a smile on their face and understanding that, you know what I'm saying? They be like, oh, thank you, Lord. Yes, sir, we will. Yes, sir, we will do all that. Yes, sir, and we will. And yes, we can. Like, they, they try. But it, I'm telling you, it be because y'all done went in there and, and then cussed their eyebrows off. So I salute you for your service. Cuss out people. So I'm going, I've been like, you know, this is it's starting to become a problem. It's just starting to become a problem. You know what I mean? Like, I believe in that. Your, your, your home, that's your temple, right? That's a sanctuary. That's. You know, that's your place of solace. That's what a domicile is, okay? So I, I need stuff in here that's, like, symbolic to what I at least want. You know, what, what it is I'm desiring, what I'm striving for. It's got to be peaceful. Dude, I don't need a hole in the roof of my temple. I don't need that. So... It's just been shit happening in the apartments. All right. Too much stuff. This is why I say, all right. I, I think I might have to just go. Like, this is becoming a problem. So I go and I tell them, I said, look, I still got a hole in my roof. Now, my question is this. Do they, is there any type of anything? Anybody out there that knows, is there anything that the apartments can do for me for this crunch that I'm in? I, it's, I'm not like. You know, it's not like the pipe burst and I have had no running water. It's not like that. It's not like it's affecting my lights. It's not like that. But it is affecting my comfort. Like, there is a smell that's coming out this motherfucker that's got me considering putting on a mask. I'm about to walk around in my house with an N95 on. Just, just N95 playing PlayStation. So... Is there anything they can give me? Can they waive some fees? Can they give me a month? Like, I had to, I feel like they should give me a one month free. Hey, bro, this month is on us. Since you had a whole month that you didn't deal with this hole in the damn roof, and we've been saying we're going to take care of it, we're going to get to you, we're going to figure it out, we're going to whatever, and ain't nothing done popped off. Ain't nothing figured out. I got a, a hole in the damn roof, and you got women thinking I'm out here living in the trenches. Lady, you can't, women can't do nothing with that. When you go to a guy, you, first of all, you already didn't trust, okay, you trusted me enough to come to my house. You're like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and come to the house. I don't, maybe I might fuck him, but I don't know, but let's just go and see. And then you open that door up, and you see the hole in the room. Woman instantly goes, hell no. Mm-mm. Maybe we can just. Well, ain't no hole in the bedroom. That's what I'm saying. If you want to hang out in the room, ain't no hole in there. You, mm -mm, I don't even want to see the room. So can they offer me anything? That's just what I'm wondering. Is there anything they can offer me? A month free? Motherfucking Starbucks gift card? A year supply of that blue top shit that they put over buildings just in case this shit busts again? Give me something. So I got that shit going on. Now I'm calling. I'm trying to figure out whatever's happening with the office, right? They're supposed to come, right? Now they told me. They called me. Hey, somebody's going to be coming to your apartment from 12 to 3. Have your ass in that apartment so they can get in there and they can yada, 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 and bing, bang, boom. Like, I bet. Make my arrangements. I get here. Nobody showed up. And I was like, yo, this sucks. Like, nobody showed up. But we had an incident on the property. And this is starting to be a common thing over here, which is why I think I need to dip. Here, here goes sign number two if you stand in a place that might be ragged. If there's a lot of domestic violence cases that pop off in the units that are attached to the apartments that you live in. If there's a lot of, if you, if you, I'm just saying, if you constantly seeing the police, 
might be time. Bruh, I'm waiting and waiting on these people. I'm like, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. All of a sudden, I hear screaming outside. It's a white woman's voice, though. Yeah, this bitch is secretly recording me. This fucking bitch. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White girl noises. Right? I'm in this shit. I'm like, what the fuck going on outside? 15 minutes later, go like you're hearing this commotion. You're like, what the hell? All of a sudden, there's a crowd of people outside. Everybody's outside. Like, what the what the hell? Okay. Then the police show up. Oh shit. It's four cops. They all scrambling. You're like, man, what the, the hell going on? So this what didn't happen. The cops had came earlier in the daytime. There's a couple live a few doors down. White couple, young white couple. They fight every day. That's what the fuck they do. They fight like they sparring for the domestic violence championships. They squab. That's what they do. And the lady, when they squat, now, now the lady is the one, I ain't gonna lie, the lady a little thrown out. You can look at the, you ever look at a couple and you can tell who the who the aggressor is on the mass whoopers. You can tell who the instigator, aggr- you can tell. The lady is the one, she, she a little off. You can tell. She start the shit and try to finish the shit every time. So they get to, they squabbing earlier. They they getting at it, right? And most of the time when they get to squabbing, the, the little lady, she get to hollering real loud. Like he, like he killing her, like he trying to kill her. Now, this ain't no disrespect to nothing, but this is shit make it. This is, I'm going to explain to you when I tell the whole story. This statement I'm about to say makes sense. It's hard to trust white women when they tell you about any danger they are in or have been in. It's hard to trust that they are just 100% a flat out victim. Because if you ever be around or you live around or been with or whatever, you know that when shit strike, they're going to flip it and make themselves the victim. They're going to put that spin on it and be like, oh, I was just motherfucking and this motherfucker trying to motherfucker. You already know. So a lot of time that would happen. She get to hollering real loud, screaming and shit. And then people be like, oh, what's going on? And he a big ass, he a big ass white dude. And he be like, listen, I'm uh, I, I'm trying the baby. And he wanted, you know what I'm saying? And he wanted them, I feel bad for him, because he wanted them, he wanted them, he wanted them beta dads. I don't know how motherfucker. Look, let me tell you, I, I see beta dad at the grocery store. I don't know how, I don't know how the hell anybody gonna survive in this world with a beta dad. I don't know how you going to survive. You just hear your dad, he'll hold, hold daddy's hand. Daddy loves you. Hold daddy's hand. Come here. Come. No, daddy's. No. Daddy, you see daddy right here. When yo, If your daddy sound like your father, voice sound like that, and he's heterosexual, you are going to get Fired from most jobs. He is grooming you to be terminated from whatever occupation you decide to pursue. Because you gonna resent that man. Daddy, can that voice right there? Come here, if your daddy, come here. Hey, hey. So homie a beta dad. He ain't gonna make he a beta dad. So you can see it every time. He, oh uh, hey, I'm she, she's here, she's trying. So so the cops had came earlier. Now most time, bro, when it's something like that and y'all got a reputation, the cops just and and it's this is the thing. When it's a man, usually when it's a dude whooping that ass, 
and the cops is constantly coming out. They just get into the routine of taking your ass to jail. When it's the dude and you whooping her ass and the cops show up and this is a routine thing that y'all doing, what they usually do is to say, hey, come on, just come spend this goddamn night in jail. Or, hey, come with us. We're going to go and take your ass, whatever. They just come immediately and come take your ass when you the dude, when you whooping that ass. When the lady is the aggressor, they try to do a lot of shit to de-escalate things and all oh, everybody just calm down and everybody just relax and just everybody just everybody and then the next call y'all get this bitch is, this bitch is stew me so they came and then they left so they started squabbing again so the neighbor called the office hey these motherfuckers had it. It's a, I got a noise complaint. Y'all sent somebody over. Like it sounds like some shit going down in this apartment. Yeah, 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 right. Police was already over there. They just trying to get somebody else to maybe come and be like, hey, y'all got to keep it down. Whatever. Chick from the office come. Hey, everything okay? Everything all right? Just came to see, trying to see what's happening, what's going on. Whoop de whoop, yada 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 yada. Goddamn white girl go crazy, bitch. Get the fuck from over here, fucking in the bullshit and that, that bitch and the shit. And the office ain't like, hey, calm down, you know, just relax. I'm just trying to see you. Fuck. She, she a little young black girl. She talk, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, just calm down. Everyone's just trying to figure out what the fuck. Just, nah, nah, nah. Bitch, what the motherfucker in the fucking fucking in the bitch? Goddamn, I'm a goddamn. So. Oh, girl's like, hey, let me just, can I look and see what's going on in here? Because what's happening? What's going on? And she's videoing her. She's videoing everything because it's a noise complaint. This girl's kind of crazy. She's getting aggressive. So she's videoing. She's trying to see what's happening. Look at a white girl get so aggressive and try to keep the office lady from coming in that the little white girl done towed the motherfucking dough off the hinges. Dough off that bitch. I'm like, oh, shit. Tow the dough off the hinges, nigga, right? So she going crazy. White girl, tear the dough off the hinges, come at the girl, slap the office lady. Now, the office lady put the whole, the whole office, white voice front, all that shit go out the window. All the professionalism. She slapped the professionalism about this black bitch. Fire out. Bitch, what the fuck? Bitch, I'll come at your motherfucking with the motherfucker. The girl next door was like, hey, 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 calm down. Come in my apartment real quick. To the come apartment, calm down. She go back out. She starts walking around the apartments. Motherfucking white girl starts following her around the apartments. Talking that bitch motherfucker shit. Bitch motherfucker, what the fuck, what? Talking all this shit, following her. The black girl thing like, bro, if I turn around, I'm going to lose my job. I'm going to lose everything. I'm about, to, I'm about to kill this bitch. So I'm fucking sitting like, what the fuck is going on? So when I show, like, like when I look outside, that's when I see all the cops come. The cops come. They figure the shit out, work it out. Take the white girl to jail. They got the white girl. When they put the white girl in the cuffs, she immediately started flipping. That's what I'm saying. She put that spin on it. I never touched her. She touched me. She was trying to keep me from going in my... She was trying to... This is what the white girl said. She was trying to lock me in my apartment. Bitch, how? You told a goddamn dough off the hinges. How the fuck somebody gonna keep you locked in some shit that you done broke the fuck out of? So, the white girl flipped it. Like, no, she hit me first. She was trying to do this to me. The black girl got the shit all on video, by the way. They was trying to do this to me. Yada, yada, yada. Man, they put them cuffs on the nigga and put it in the back seat. You heard that white bitch holler. Help me! No! Crazy. And then they get up and they drive off. And then I realize... That's why the fuck I still got this hole in my roof. Because 
Them motherfucking contractors came. But they saw that police car. And was like, I don't want no parts in none of that shit. We'll catch that motherfucker later. So I got to sit here and smell mildew and just hope for the motherfucking best. It's been another episode of Touch and Interruption. My name is Trey Tuts, and thank y'all for tuning in. Like I said, check out all the live shows that I have coming up. Please like and subscribe to the podcast. I appreciate everybody that listens, everybody that tunes in, everybody that is trying to help this thing grow. I appreciate it. Chet, chet, chet y'all, chet y'all, chet y'all. I'm going to chet y'all next time now. <laughs> I hope to see y'all next time you hear. I hope you tune in so I can goddamn with the shit. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Until next time, later.